Hey, hey, hey. Well, we have Gorshade 4 against Osram. Same deal as that last Assyria game. Um, this is kind of some tournament prep practice. This is a matchup we think we're going to get. It's a trouble matchup, and we're trying to determine our best way of handling it from actual playtesting and that sort of thing. This list doesn't have Desters in it like my uh, version of Gorshade 4 does, but it does have um, Double Ghost Snipers, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah. So, wow, look at all these pop-ups. How do I make them all go away? Go away, go away. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I'm going first, and I want to pop feet after he pops his feet. Um, that's just been my thing for playing Gorshade Ford. It's the first time I've ever had defensive feet. It's done great for me so far. Let's just keep that gravy train rolling until I get proved wrong and I can learn some lessons. Um, so I'm going to get the clouds and yeah. Yeah. Uh, no mini feats popped. Dauntless Resolve is on this pile of Sentinels right here. And boom. So his turn, he's going to um, take all these bunnies and shoot the trident. And then he's going to take the fire for affected uh, brutal damage artillery core, shoot the trident. And then Kel Baylock is going to shoot the trident for another six damage. And the trident's on like 10 boxes, I think. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Also, some of his dice were good and some of his dice were really bad. I think he was actually a little bit under on what could have been done. So that was surprising. Um, other than that, everything just kind of moves up. So my turn. Oh, gosh dang it. I did that thing where I missed an, a picture. I need to stop doing that. So all of his stuff is roughly in this spot right here. Um, I'm gonna. My trident's got seven boxes. I cannot run away from Kel Baylock and Eris. It's just gonna get deadly shot to death. Or Alton Ashley, who's also right here. So I send in the trident. I charge a, um, a little gun bunny. There was a pile of gun bunnies over here. I start slamming them into each other, uh, slamming it into the driller. The uh, Chimera had previously apparated to right here. I had put Hand of Ice onto the driller uh, for when feet gets popped on it, I'll actually be able to get some work done with that upkeep on it. And then I was able to run the Chimera back here and pile up the Sentinels behind these clouds. The Trident, I need to come back to that because it got a lot of work done. I mean, it's gonna die. So I'm, I'm just gonna get whatever use out of it I can. There's nowhere I can put it where it's gonna be safe unless it's irrelevant anymore. Um, I shoot down, I shoot up the driller, I shoot up the gun bunny, I shoot down a couple of forge guard, and I shoot down the artillery core. It gets a ton of work done. Uh, very, very happy with that. And this is a mistake I make, and I'll show you it on this screen right here. I should have dropped Dauntless Resolve on this unit of Sentinels and put it on this unit right here, because... I just can't give up this much ground on feet turn. I cannot give up that zone. Uh, this Solus Escort's right here, the only thing in, in that zone. So my thoughts are that uh, if he wants to score this flag and he wants to score this zone and get two points up, he's going to have to kill the Trident and that Solus Escort. That Solus Escort will probably be the only thing he kills. And all these Sentinels can just explode out and get massive amounts of work done uh, via Vengeance because there shouldn't be anything that can jam them enough that they don't just explode out between Imperatus and, uh, and all the Vengeance attacks, even on his feet turn, because it's going to be a feet turn. So basically... I should have mini feeded and put Dauntless Resolve over here just because it's not needed. It is not needed right here, but it would be very, very helpful over here, especially since I'm not popping feet. Um, basically, the Chaosis come in and they kill like four Sentinels. The Basher, the Driller, and the Spray Bunny combo kill like, I don't know, another four or five Sentinels. I've got like three or four Sentinels at the end of this turn on, on that blue side. So that whole side is pretty much hosed. Um, he doesn't know what to do about this freezing mist cloud wall, so he runs a couple of forge guard into it and doesn't kill the soulless escort and taps clock. Uh, oh, and he did, he does kill the trident. And these two chaosies run into the ghost sniper. Um, yeah. Oh, 
and uh, he goes for an assassination run because why not? These uh, gun bunnies over here walk up, and two of them can get boosted shots on the Gorshade. One hits and leaves Gorshade on eight boxes, and the other one misses. Uh, he's just like, eh, it's funsies. Let's let's see if I can get this. Um, and then the other one uh, shoots the uh, Arcanist. Yep, yep. Or it shoots the Artificer, so the Artificer's dead. And here we are. Um, I'm not really sure how to handle this necessarily because it's his feet turn. So I do some vengeance attacks and get some backswings into Chaosy Eliminators. And uh, this Sentinel walks over here, kills that one. I roll the eight I need. This Sentinel walks over here, kills that one. I rolled the eight I need. And then these Sentinels walk up and start beating on this Basher. Um, pretty happy with that, honestly. That was that was pretty sweet. Um, over here on this side of things, I just kill all these uh, Forge Guard, put some attacks on this Basher, and uh, read Cloud Wall up. I'm really worried about Gorshe 4 getting assassinated. I sit there and think about how I want to solve this problem that I'm in. And it comes to me. I, I know for all of you at home, you're, you're, you're watching and you're like, it's really easy. It's a really easy solution, Connor, of how to solve this problem. I just take Gorshade 4 and I walk him to the other side of the forest. Um, now I pop feet. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's let's hope for some work to get done. Oh, and Paradis got uh, Eris shot, which was super annoying. And uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a thing <laughs> all game long. This uh, driller, I forgot to mention it, but the Trident really messed up this driller. That Trident got so much work done. So it ran over to here or walked over to there, and it's just going to get healed up for the rest of the game so it can actually do something. Um, but yeah, his feet turn, uh, I didn't get a whole lot of work done. Uh, this is this is where we're at. So he pops feet, and... Um, or no, I popped feet, and... Surprise, surprise, Eris shoots in Paradis again by walking into the clouds. Uh, and I can't remember what he does. I think he takes more Forge Guard and rams him into Sentinels. But I think so, I think he accidentally triggers Vengeance on the Solus and is like, oh, all those Forge Guard are just complete wastes now. Um, and over here, Basher kills a Sentinel, gets stationary. Um... I think Driller whiffed on these guys or something. Uh, oh, no. Uh, the plan was is for Ragman to come over here and Bone Shaker one, since they're only armor 15 right now, and then have a kill another so he can kill three of them. And um, that would be that would be pretty dang effective. But, yeah. It, it, he misses his Bone Shaker attack. Super sad. So here we are. Um, this is where we're at. And it's time for me to get a massive amount of work done because I've been waiting for this big giant pile of Sentinels to be able to explode and burn the world down. Um, so let's cover my plan over here on this right hand side of the board is just to stall. Um, I think I'm losing that side, but I, I can stall. So Eris is gonna go uh, disrupt this spray bunny. The uh, that basher's stationary, so I uh, have the artificer walk over here and slam um, the driller into the spray bunny, so it's disrupted and knocked down, so it's going to be worthless. And the driller is now knocked down. Then these two charge the basher and get a lot of work done against it. Um, and Ghost Sniper shot Ragman at some point in that process. So... Everything's kind of controlled. The basher's out of control. And um, yeah, it's just got two sentinels to deal with. Uh, a lot a lot has happened. Over here on this side, it's vengeance attacks, vengeance attacks. Um, Gorshade walks over, bops the uh, this Chaosi. Chimera walks over, baps the other Chaosi. Um, Imperatus goes and smacks that and sidesteps into the zone. And then after the vengeance attacks are over, all the sentinels just explode out. And this whole side just burns down into flames. Um, 
and the rolling tide of Sentinels has pushed forward and it's lit at night. And um, with this whole side kind of controlled and not getting very much work done and me just absolutely dominating this side, uh, my opponent says, I've seen what I need to see. I know how I feel going into Gore Shade 4 for this tournament and it's late at night. Let's call it a game and talk about this. So we talked about the matchup. We talked about some of the keys and how things are going. Um, and it, it, it was a really, it was, it was a good talk. It was productive. And these were some really productive games. Um, uh, I'm still just crazy impressed with G4. He always constantly surprises me of what he can get done. It's, it's so freaking shocking. The amount of just mass carnage he can produce. Um, this was a really slow and patient game for me for like two or three turns. I don't really feel like I did anything and I just kind of bled pieces uh, and then the explosion happened that I wanted and the world burned and it was fantastic. So, yep. Thank you for watching and, uh, have a good evening or morning or whatever time of the day it is, wherever you are. Thank you for viewing everyone.